Hey, and welcome to Vid Society. In this video, I am going to show you some strategies that I use for keyword research for SEO. Now, in this video, I'm not only going to show you how I find a lot of the keywords that I use for my YouTube videos and even articles for my WordPress websites, but how I find products to promote that normally I would never find otherwise. So I always use Google for this. Why? Because people use Google more than anything else. So the first thing you do is let's say you are wanting to create maybe a YouTube channel or even a website based around WordPress, but you need some ideas on what you can create your articles about or what you can create your videos about. So what I would do is just start searching in Google because these are always going to show you the latest results and what people are searching for most. So what you can do is here, let's just type in how to, and then we can type WordPress. Now, these are not going to show us very good words by doing this, but what we can do is we can put our cursor after the word to hit a space and then any letter we want to. So, for example, let's hit letter A. It's going to show us a list of keywords that begin with the letter A where our cursor is positioned for terms that are most searched based on what we entered up here. Now, if we want to, we can change that A to a B. And now we can see a whole nother list. And we can keep going through the alphabet and doing this and getting all these different ideas of what people are searching for based around our main keyword. Now, we can even go further than this. For example, let's say we start with the letter A and then we want to use the letter C. We can do that too and it's going to pick that up. And you can go through the alphabet doing that too. So we could do A, E, F, G, and so on all the way through and it's going to show you those keywords. Unfortunately, it can be difficult to write down or copy all these keywords and save them to a list. So I use a tool for this, and this is a tool that I've been using for years, and it's only, well, at the time I bought it, I think it was around $50. You can download it for free. Uh, there's certain restrictions, but you can buy Lifetime, I think, for the, about the same price. And I'll put that link below the video, and I'm going to show you guys how this tool works right now. Okay, jumping over, this is the tool. Now, there are a lot of features and a lot of things you can do with this tool. Most of them I don't use. The main reason I use this tool is for this section here on the right that allows me to pull in all these keywords from Google automatically. And not only does it do Google, it also does Amazon, YouTube, Google related, Google questions, and you can even import your own keyword list or CSV files. Now these other sections over here, this one on the left allows you to manage your keyword list. There's a lot you can do with it. I'm not going to be talking about that in this video. And this middle section here is for creating articles based around your keywords, which is also very nice. But once again, I really don't use this, so I'm just going to minimize it. So this is the section we're going to be looking at to find keywords. So let's say, for example, right now we're looking for ideas based around WordPress. So we can come up here under a singular and type in WordPress. The plural is the same thing, so we'll just type in WordPress for that. And we're not focusing on a specific region or year, so we're going to leave those empty. Now down here is a list that's already created for you that you can click on to start searching. Now you also notice there's an asterisk within each one of these, and this is where it's going to start searching on Google. So if you were to go to Google, you'd basically be doing how and then WordPress, and then back here you'd be putting in your cursor, and that's where it would fill in the letters and start searching. So let's say we want to look for questions people are searching for on how to do for WordPress. We may want to choose this first one here. So if we click on it, it's going to add it over here to the list. Now on the right hand side, this is the play button, which is going to start it and start searching. If you're going to use this tool a lot, you may want to add your own proxies, but I use this tool quite frequently and have never had my IP blocked. I'm not sure how they do that, but it is quite impressive. Next is your search settings. So when you go to Google and you start searching, what it's going to do is it's going to come up here and it's going to start putting in the letters where you have the asterisk. So it would start here and do A, then B, then C. And if we jump back over here, you're going to notice it does A through H. For me, I always do A through Z just because it's going to give you a lot more. It's going to go through the full alphabet rather than just half of it. Now, you also have the option to choose A to A or Z to Z. It is going to give you many more keywords that are going to be much more difficult for you to find on your own. If we were to jump back over here, it would start here. It would do A, then A, A, then B, C, and so forth, all the way through the alphabet. Then it would go to the letter B and go B, A, B, 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 C, 
all the way through the alphabet, finding all these keywords and adding them to your list. Now for this example, we're just gonna do A through Z and I'm gonna show you here in a minute what I use the numbers for zero through nine to help me find products that I can do reviews on as well. But for now, we're gonna leave it like this under region settings. I have it set for google.com. You can see English, these are the letters and they have many other options here that you can search for depending on your region. We'll go ahead and click play. And let me just move this up here a little bit. So we can see how it's going through the alphabet searching Google. And as it's doing it, it's collecting all those keywords and adding it to our list. So we're gonna go ahead and let it run through the full alphabet. You can see up here, it's on letter H and we're just gonna let it finish. Okay, the job's done. It found 260 keywords, nine were duplicates. So it did not keep the duplicates, it got rid of those. And now we have a whole list of ideas we can use for our new WordPress website or for a YouTube video or even an entire channel. Now you can move this asterisk wherever you want to up here. You can create this however you want. So for example, let's do how to install blank on WordPress. Let's try something like this. Let me come down here and delete all these keywords. And we'll just do A through H on this one and click play. And you can see here how to install a theme on WordPress, how to install Beaver Builder on WordPress. And the list just keeps going on and on with an unlimited supply of keywords that you can use for your website or your YouTube channel. Okay, so just searching A through H, it found 80 keywords. But what if we want to find the keywords in here that has the most search volume? Or maybe we're creating a website and we want to be paid the most we can in AdSense. We wanna find those words that are paying the most. What we can do is we can come down here and copy these to the clipboard. We can jump over to the keyword planner on Google Ads and click on Get Search Volume and Forecast. You can paste that list of keywords in here click on get started and then I'm going to sort them by average monthly searches and you can see here the ones now that have the highest search volume and over here you're going to see the bidding range based on these keywords you have over here the higher these are the better they are for you which means you're going to earn more if someone clicks on the AdSense ads on your website. Now, let me delete everything here, and I just wanna give you an example of that because a lot of people make a lot of money through AdSense on their websites. So what keywords are they focusing on? Well, let's just take one for an example. Let's just type in blank insurance and click play. Now, we're gonna give this just a few seconds here to get a few keywords for us, and I'm gonna show you the difference that it makes in using the right keywords to focus on when you're building your website if you're wanting to earn from Google AdSense. We're gonna stop it here, and I'm gonna go ahead down here at the bottom and copy all these. We're gonna go back, and we're gonna go back to search volume and forecast. We're gonna paste these in here, click on get started. And let's come over here and just change these. And now you can see the price of some of these and what advertisers are paying to have their ads ran. Now remember, if you're creating a website based around AdSense, you're not going to earn this full amount of what they're paying, but you earn a percentage of it. So the higher this is, the more you're going to earn when people click on your AdSense ads on your website. Now last, I'm going to show you how I find products to review, say on Amazon, that normally I wouldn't find. So let me come down here and delete all of this. And let me reset this. I'm going to delete this. And let's say, for example, we want to promote something on Amazon, maybe something that's higher price. We can earn at least a decent commission on it, say a TV. So let me jump over to Amazon. And here on their website, let me come over to their categories and we'll come down to electronics. And we'll go to TV and video. Now we can scroll down through here and there's all different kinds of things here. Let's just click on televisions and we'll do uh, 4K TVs. Now, as we look through the titles of these televisions, you're going to notice there are model numbers like this one here, the QN55. This one here is a QN65. And if we scroll down through here, you're going to notice that most of these TVs, they have 
model numbers like that. For example, this one, Insignia uh, NS32. So let's just take this brand for example, and let's go back and find out if people are searching in Google for this brand and these model numbers. So we'll go back to our keyword tool in this box. We're gonna type in Insignia, and then the model number, if we go back here, you're going to see it begins with an NS dash and then it has their model number. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in NS dash and then we're going to put an asterisk and we're going to come down and click the zero through nine and we're going to click play. And so we can see that it's going through Google and it's typing in exactly this and it's replacing that asterisk with a number and look at all the results here that are coming up in Google that people are searching for for specific model numbers of this TV. So let's just go ahead and stop it right here because we have a bunch of them. And let's say we want to find out for sure if people are, are searching for these TVs in Google. How can we do that? Well, let's just take uh, let's just take this one for example. I can right click it on this tool and Google it. And what I can do is come up here and click on the search box. And you can see that it pulls up all these searches based on this model number. So we can see that not only are people searching for this TV, they're searching for the manual, they're searching for reviews, specs, remotes, backlights, wall mounts. So here is a whole nother collection that we could be creating videos or articles based around, or really one particular article or video and focus on each one of these topics. We could focus on the overall could be a review and then the review, this keyword and review could be our H1. After that, we could have H2 tags in our WordPress post for the manual, the specs, the remote, the backlight, just kind of breaking it down and covering all this data and ranking for the specific product. And then on that page, you could put AdSense ads or you could put Amazon ads or whatever you want to to earn from that page. Now for YouTube videos, obviously you could do your own review and within this review, you could cover some of these topics. You want to make sure you put these keywords in your YouTube description box, which is going to help you to rank for every one of these keywords, which is going to help your video to rank more, bring in more visitors, which is going to result in more subscribers. And then if you have your channel monetized with ads, you're going to be earning AdSense in that. Or if you have your affiliate link in your description going to Amazon, you can be earning every time somebody makes a purchase off of Amazon. Now, the other thing we can do too is let me just go back again and delete these. Is that you can even come over here and click on Amazon. So if you're wanting to promote a specific product from Amazon, you can enter a keyword here with an asterisk and it will do the same thing with Amazon's website as what it does with Google's and return a list of keywords for you that people are searching for on Amazon. And then if you're making YouTube videos, you can search YouTube's website the same way and it's going to bring you back all those lists of keywords that you can use and pick from to start creating your videos. And the best part about all this is that all these keywords that it shows you are the latest keywords. They're the most trending keywords that are available because that's the way search engines work today is they want you to see the most current results, the most up-to-date information. And so that's what they want you to see when you're searching within their search engines. Now there's a lot of other ways where you can get ideas for making WordPress posts or videos. So for example, let's just take this for an example. Let me clear this, but let's say you're wanting to search for camera. We can type in camera for plural cameras for region. I'm going to leave that empty for year. Let's do 2022. And you can scroll down through here and you can see all these examples that they give you based on questions or for or time regions. Down here, shoppers and conditions. So cameras blank under a hundred, under a thousand. Cheapest camera, best and top. Promos and coupons, which are very popular. Online searches, market watches, future projections. I mean, it just goes on and on where you can get ideas that you can find what people are searching for to create your next website or video around. So this is the easiest way that I have found for getting the most up to date and trending searches from these search engines for creating videos and writing my content on.
if you want to check out this tool and see everything that it can do, I believe the website is kwsearcher.com. I'll put that link below the video so you guys can go there and check it out. Like I said, I think you can download it for free to try it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, and if you like these types of videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you guys on the next video.